So you've heard of getting stuck in the downswing. I think Tiger Woods really brought that term to life and it really does speak to where blocks and hooks come from. But you really haven't heard a lot about getting stuck in the backswing. So I wanna to talk to you about how to get unstuck in the backswing, what forces you to get stuck in the backswing. And remember to like and subscribe to the, to the channel here. So when we talk about getting stuck in the backswing, what happens is this. When the club starts to go away, the arms don't have a lot of lift early and they don't have a lot of lift late. They have some lift late, but what happens is, is that the arms and the hands and specifically the trail elbow gets behind the rib cage, the side of the body, starts swinging in here like this and all of a sudden there's no way to get any lift and you feel like your swing is really short. You feel stuck. So you take the club in here like this and you go like that. And then from here, what you end up doing is you end up coming over the top of it. So the swing kind of goes like this. It goes in here like this and then over that way. And then from there, all, there's all kinds of bad things that could happen. I caught that one really, really thin. Many of you will hang back from there as you're pulling, as you're coming through, you're coming over the top and then you're kind of pulling out of the shot this way. You can hit that thin or fat. So there's a lot of little different things that, that can take place there. What we want to have happen is we want the club to swing back with a body turn where we feel like our arms and hands don't really have much movement behind. They're staying sort of centered in the chest or within the framework of the shoulders and the the hips, and then from there, it kind of lifts up into here. And so now I've got some width and I've got some depth. I don't just have a ton of depth. So that backswing will go, and now all of a sudden, I get a pretty good strike and I get the club moving on the line that I want. And the advantage of this is, is that you're gonna strike the ball a whole lot more solidly because the club is gonna be traveling on the line of the strike, what I call the strike line, as opposed to flashing on the strike line. So if we go into a down the line view, a strike line like this, when I have the club coming down into the strike, I want the club kind of traveling down this line for a while. I don't want it coming too much from in here and I certainly don't want it coming out and then across, okay? We want to be on that strike line for a, a fairly long period of time. It allows you to really quiet the face rotation that you have in the swing, which is going to help you create a more centered strike, more predictable distance, more predictable launch angle, spin rates. So, and that was a very good strike as well. And you can see that's going right down the line of the, the target that I'm trying to hit at. So how do we teach ourselves how to move the arms properly? Well, there's a little thing in the world called a gear tie. This happens to be, and I have a ton of these, this happens to be a six foot gear tie. It's a phenomenal instructional device. So what you do is you put this around like this so that you have these ends on the outside of your trail shoulder, and then you twist. So you just twist this up like this. It takes a little bit of time to get into here. You don't want to do it so tight that it causes you not to breathe. But you also want to do it tight enough so it stays up here. Now, from here, what you can see is, is that in the down the line view, my right arm, my trail arm, is in front of this right here. Now, if I take the club back and I let my arms move along the ground, it's going to bend the gear tie. And you'll feel that in your trail arm on the tricep. But when you take the club back and you let your arms stay in front of your chest and then lift, there's no part of your tricep that will touch that gear tie, okay? So right, when you drop your arm here, you can feel the tricep on the, on the gear tie. But when your arms reach in front of the body, it disappears, so it's coming basically right out of the direct side of my body, parallel to my shoulder line. And now what I'm gonna do when I take the club back 
So I'm gonna make sure that my body is rotating and I'm not, you can see that space between the gear tie and my arm is the same, I haven't changed it. And then I come up like this. So here, and you can see the gear tie now, if you come back to this down the line shot, Gibbsy, that gear tie is still right where it's supposed to be. It's not bent back. If I take my arms and I pull them across like this, up like this, and then over like that, now come back down here and you can see how that gear tie has moved. I probably moved four or five inches. And you may have to twist every once in a bit. But it's a really, really simple way of teaching you how to keep your arms in front of your body and not get stuck in the backswing. And all of a sudden, what I'm able to do now as a result of this is when I get up to the top, there's no longer any, any urge or necessity for me to move my arms out this way. They can slide back or drop back down into here and come from inside. And you're not going to hit this. Okay? So here, keep it in front. And then right there. Try one more. Okay. That was a very good strike there. Very solid. And again, if you come back down here, Gibbsy, what you can see is that hasn't moved. Okay, so now you got a feel for this. Now we got to take this thing off. And this doesn't take a little bit of time. Twist it off. Get undressed there. Put it down. And now, what I want you to feel is, I want you to feel like you got that gear tie wrapped around your chest. It's sticking out here so you can see it. I like to use yellow because you can, it's easier for you to visualize it in your mind. So you get set up. This thing is sticking out of your body just like that golf club right there. Back. And what you're going to see is put the club down. When I turn back, that Titleist is not sliding over there and moving to the back side of the shoulder. The Titleist is still in front. I'm just rotating. And now I'm up here like this. Okay? And another wonderful drill that you can do to teach yourself how to do that without that gear tie is just take your left hand or your lead hand, put it over your bicep, grab your tricep, and let this turn go like this, and then fold. So you're turning and folding. Turn and fold. And that arm is not getting behind you into a stuck position. And now, same thing. Very good strike. I got a nice little draw on that one. This will take you a little bit of time to to get comfortable with, but as you start to get comfortable with this, now all of a sudden you're gonna be able to really start to use your body properly instead of trying to, to replace your arms where they're supposed to be, slowing the body, it leads to a whole bunch of, of real problems. Let's hit one more here. Get that feeling of, and one of the things that I feel is I feel my tricep kind of sitting in front of that rib cage and it never really moves off of that. It just goes up like that and it just stays positioned there. So I really don't feel like from my shoulder to the elbow, I'm not doing this. I'm just keeping it in the position that it's in. There will be a little bit of movement, but it's not dramatic and it certainly isn't enough to where I feel like I'm stuck. That was absolutely exquisite right there. Let's see if I can get it in that bucket. Oh, almost, I got a dinger. All right, so you wanna learn how to get unstuck in the backswing. Make sure that your arms are staying in front of your body using that gear tie or 
Take that left hand, that lead hand, put it over there. Make that body rotate up and then feel that trail arm bending without sliding back like this. And when you create that feel, you'll get rid of feeling stuck in the backswing and you'll also get rid of coming over the top. One of the biggest problems that you have in, in the game is coming over the top and it happens largely because your arms and hands are moving really low and around you in the backswing and now you have to throw them in front, slow the body down. It creates a lot of bad habits, obviously creates a lot of poor strikes and as a result, a lot of poor scores. Fix that and you're gonna play a whole lot better. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.